Good afternoon. So thank you, Michael, for the introduction. And uh, very quickly, there's a lot of you who have engaged with us while we've been here, and we've really appreciated your time, so thank you for that. My name is Mark, and I'm the CTO at Westgate Cybersecurity. And as many of you know, building secure networks on the internet is really time consuming and complicated. It takes a long time to arrange, and if you need a secure network between two different organizations, then it takes even longer. And this is the problem that we solve. Now, as many of you already know, in a corporate, in order to connect different, different devices together, it takes a long, long time. And so this is a map of the internet. And if we zoom in, we can see it's a mess of interconnected networks. And every time a device joins a new network, it gets an IP address, which acts as both a location and an identity. Now, this is really important because this dual use leads to problems. And I'm going to tell you about three problems, but bear with me because it gets a little bit technical. So when a device, for example, my laptop, moves between two different networks, its IP address changes. And for my laptop, that's not a problem. But in a corporate environment, this can lead to huge problems. So moving a legacy system to cloud, for example, there are other devices depending on this IP address not to change. Problem number two. If I have two IoT devices side by side, and they're connected using cellular or mobile networks, these networks only allow outbound connectivity. So connecting these devices together today is nearly impossible. And so we have to add cost to make it possible. Problem number three. Typically, we use virtual private networks to connect together organizations and environments. But a VPN tunnel only connects between two different edges of the network. And then we're forced to manage security device by device until we reach the end location because the VPN drops encryption at the perimeter. Now, I could go on, but these three problems alone cause us significant problems, significant issues. As a real-world example, one of the corporates here explained to us how it took five months and six attempts to build a secure network between three boardrooms. So it's really no surprise that one of the biggest challenges facing IT leaders today is the safe and direct communication between disparate devices. We see the emergent field of overlay networks as the solution. And that's exactly why we built Enclave, an overlay networking product that builds secure networks on top of your existing infrastructure. Now, Enclave doesn't use the IP address for identity. It just uses it for location. And that's really important because it decouples IP address and location from one another. And that means that an overlay network can appear instantly and disappear just as quickly without any changes to the underlying infrastructure and with automatic end-to-end -end encryption. And in the next five years, you're going to see this technology fundamentally change the way that we think about secure networks on the internet today. It allows us to do things that currently take months of planning, preparation, design, security approval, and risk reduction, we can now do in minutes using Enclave, nearly risk-free. Now, this is an overview of the market today. And as you can see, there are easy to use, but less secure products are available. And the space for secure solutions is quite crowded, but in the wrong place. Yes, we need secure solutions, but we need them to be easy to use as well. And this is exactly where we come in, in the sweet spot between secure but easy to use. And there's already movement in this emerging market. Tempered Networks raised seven million in December just gone, and Viptela were acquired by, by Cisco in May of last year for 610 million. Now, convenience is at the core of our USP, and we make it exceptionally quick and easy to stand up and, uh, these secure networks. We have a patent application in place for te protecting just how quickly we can do this as well. So last week, uh, we held a workshop with some of the partners, and we are extremely happy with the feedback that we received, 
especially to hear words like game-changing being used to describe the technology. Now, I'm also happy to announce that in, in the summer this year, we will be running a POC with ABN AMRO focused around open banking. Our approach has been examined by industry leaders such as Rabobank, Comsec, and the British Intelligence Agency. And we're looking at connecting everything from data centers to airlines who are constantly flying their networks around to coalition forces deployed in theater who need to meet, share information, and then go their separate ways. Think about the transition from fixed line networks to mobile. By introducing flexibility and lowering costs, it opened up an entirely new market. And that's exactly what our software as a service platform technology is going to do. I'd like to quickly introduce you to my team. Together, we have raised 250,000 pounds so far in seed capital from Innovate UK and Airbus. My colleagues are experienced entrepreneurs with three successful exits be 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 behind them. I have a master's degree in computer network security, and I built this technology. And we have a sustainable business, and uh, we are at heads of terms with a British university who are investing in the technology. And in 12 months' time, we'll still be here making steady progress. But with a 1.5 million investment, we could capture a significant portion of this emerging market and thrive. So if you're interested in talking to us about a potential investment for this interesting technology, please do come and let us know. Secondly, if you see yourself as an early adopter and are building something new or have an existing challenge around secure networking, PSD2 crowd in the audience, I'm looking at you, then I'd like to invite you to visit our website and sign up to our private beta. Thank you.